Well, welcome back. It's now day two of me putting the uh, Elecraft KX3 kit together. Uh, last night I was working here on the bottom cover. I put in the uh, RF board, uh, but before that, on the back of the board, you have some uh, rubber feet here and here to put on. And uh, they ask you, before you install the rubber feet, the feet are held in with nylon bolts. And they ask you to take this uh, thumb screw, which is a uh, 440 thread, the same as a nylon bolt, and run it through the holes on the cover before you uh, put the nylon bolt through. And it's a very good idea because when I ran the uh, nylon bolts in here, it was very smooth going in. But when I put the thumb screw through, which is metal, it uh, had a few spots where it was a bit rough. I guess the paint had gotten in there or something. And I would imagine if you didn't run that um, thumb screw bolt through, you would uh, end up snapping off the uh, or the possibility of snapping off one of the nylon screws. Also, in the tilt feet here, there is a little right there, a little nylon uh, 440 screw as well. Again, run the. Uh, thumb screw through that before you mount it and uh, you'll have no problem getting that to go through and secure properly just don't over tighten them as they say now as I say I mounted the RF board in the uh, bottom cover of the uh, Elecraft K3, KX3 it went in very smoothly no problems at all now they did ask to if you can see them up close here there's these little gold spots here well, in those holes underneath there's a standoff and it's a 256 thread and that's where the battery um, holder is eventually going to end up being secured. Now they did ask at this point, once the RF board was secured to this base cover, to run a uh, 256 thread through each of these holes to see how the standoffs line up. That didn't go so well and I've been reading about this um, on some uh, posts as well as I saw a couple of videos about it and that is um, if you want to it's a better idea to flip the cover over and here's the screws that secure the standoffs in place that you're going to be using when you mount the battery the best thing I found is you loosen these screws off which gives the standoff which is underneath this board a little bit of movement and the screws go in no problem so I would loosen off the base screw which kind of loosens up the standoff a bit and then secure the uh, battery uh, compartment boxes and then go back and tighten up that uh, screw right here on the back cover and uh, then everything will be secure because when those standoffs are tight in, uh, in underneath this board they really don't line up all that well and I think there's a little bit of play in them and you'll be much better off if you loosen those standoffs before you put the Delegate 256 screw in. Well, that's all I've got done for uh, now. And we're just going to shut the camera off here again and continue on. And uh, we'll be back. Thank you. Well, there's been a little bit more progress here since you've uh, seen the tape last. I've got the uh, antenna, the BNC connector here installed. The uh, ATU, the antenna tuner the battery uh, holders and the roofing filter right up here. Let's start with this uh, BNC uh, antenna connector here. When I installed it, the RF board, as you know, was already in. And it made it kind of difficult because there's some torodes right in that area uh, with some nice fine windings on them. And it even cautions you in the instructions to mine the, the torodes when this is going in. I think it'd be much easier, and I think I've heard this before, but must have forgotten about it, to mount this uh, BNC connector before the RF board goes in. And uh, you're able to have lots of room to tighten the nut. You don't have to worry about the little cable right here that comes off the uh, BNC connector, this little cable here. You don't have anything to do with the RF board. Then once the BNC connector is installed, you can put the RF board in. Now, the uh, battery holders here and here, the uh, Elecraft did give you longer screws saying that they may be required because the the uh, battery holders could be too thick for the provided screws. I ended up using the longer ones at first but I found that what happened as they screwed through 
um, you just hold this here. As I went through the, the plastic and into the standoff, and I tightened them down, lo and behold, these screws at the back, which I loosened off, had um, bottomed out against the screw, and they wouldn't tighten up flush on the board. So those new longer screws were a bit too long. So I took them out, put the shorter ones in, everything went fine. Now, I don't know if you've heard or not, but there's been a lot of talk about the routing of these batter or these these cables. I was able to, I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but down here there is a red wire that jumps these two packs together. There's a little bit of heat shrink tubing on it. That wasn't the easiest thing to get in there. But it did fit with a little bit of persuasion. I'm not sure if you can see that in there or not. I don't think it's uh, well lit. Let's see, there we go. That's about as best I can do. It's right in here where that one wire is routed. I'm not sure what's going to happen here with this one. I haven't put this cable here. There's a, there's a cable that goes from here, a ribbon cable that goes from here to the um, top section of the control board on the uh, KX3. That in itself, again, I've heard is a treat, but we'll deal with that in the next video. The um, ATU to put it in, um, it was, to say the least, a bit tricky. Um, you have a, a connector here and a connector over here, and uh, you have to line them up. But the problem is, you have also have this antenna cable coming through this tiny little opening here. Underneath the uh, ATU, there's some more relays like this that this cable kind of has to go in between. So you find that these two uh, connectors mate just fine. But it, the problem is they can't sit flush with the standoffs here and here because this cable is uh, underneath one of these uh, uh, relays underneath the board. So it took me about 15-20 minutes of getting this cable routed properly so everything would sit flush. That was a bit frustrating. Over here is the roofing filter. That just went in no problem. There is a screw right here that has to come out, a short one, and there's a longer screw that's provided and it goes into uh, a hole on the uh, roofing filter to hold it in place. So you're left with an extra screw actually when you're all done. So there you go, the ATU's in, the battery holder, and the uh, roofing filter. We're going to move on to the uh, supporting legs, tilt legs, and the ribbon cable. So we'll be back and uh, see how it goes. Welcome back and uh, well I've got the ribbon cable installed and uh, the batteries are hooked up here to the uh, control board but this out of all the steps was uh, one of the most uh, challenging. I've also got the tilt feet on the bottom here you can't see them but they're also on the unit now, a couple of the challenges that I had, one, I had to go to the Ellicraft um, news site at Reflector for some information and uh, find out a problem that I was having a solution to it. So here's some of the things I ran into. Putting the ribbon cable on, no problem. That went fairly smoothly. I just followed the directions in the uh, manual, and uh, so far, so good. Now, before the ribbon cable went on and before the battery here was hooked up, in the manual it asks you to take the top cover and put it on the bottom cover and snug it up and see how it looks. And what I was getting was a high side on one of the corners. Right where the DC connector is here, I was getting a problem where this corner here was sitting fairly high when I put it together. It wasn't sitting down snugly. And uh, I thought there was a problem maybe either with the DC connector touching uh, down on the roofing filter. So I went up on the Ellicraft uh, reflector and I found out that on the top of the roofing filter here and on the bottom of the roofing filter there's these little ridges and they have to be filed off. What happens is when you put the cover on these ridges raise up the, the uh, roofing filter high enough that it hits this, this shield and it stops the, the top cover from seating properly. So I had to file those off on either side here and on the bottom. There's some uh, ridges as well. So if you had hit that, just file it off. Apparently it's been okayed by Ellicraft. And I just want to thank um, Todd, WA7U, for that information. And I filed it off and everything fit great. The next problem I ran into was with the battery holders, there is a connector down here for the ribbon cable and the battery cable, this cable here, has to be routed behind the uh, connector. I couldn't get it. 
And finally, I went on the internet, looked at some pictures of the uh, KX3 construction, and I realized I had these battery holders in backwards, or opposite. They had to be switched around. I was trying to fit, if you see on here the um, heat shrink there and heat shrink here, I was trying to get this holder actually was over here, and I was trying to get this heat shrink in behind the holder and the connector, and it just wasn't working. And I thought, there's got to be something wrong because it just isn't going very smoothly at all. And I realized I had to take the battery compartments out, switch them around, and uh, the cable fit very nicely in behind the connector here. And uh, I've uh, hooked it up to the control board. Now, be careful when you do hook it up to the control board. It's a very short cable, and it is keyed, meaning the connector uh, has three openings on the top and only two on the bottom. One of them in the middle is uh, plugged and uh, you're not going to be able to reverse the connection when you plug it in. So make sure you've got the red wires on top when you're trying to plug it into the connector and it'll go in just nicely. It's a bit tight but uh, it goes in fairly smoothly. Now what I have to do, I can't close it up yet, uh, because I have the the roofing filter I have to do a calibration on the roofing filter. We're going to see how that goes and um, then we're going to put it all together after that and uh, see what happens. We'll be back.